right, wonderful. Look at all the boys and girls. Wow. Hi, everybody. Hi. It is so good to see you again. And I know that you have been working hard today and that you have had a busy day. And so we want to share this lesson with you. And hopefully, as you go to your beds tonight, you can think about it at the end of the day. So it's good to see you again. Brother Paul, thank you, as always, for being here with us. Amen. And we're going to do as we usually do. Is Minister Benson there, or will you be singing a cappella? We have Minister Benson today. <laughs> Greetings to Minister Benson. And yeah. I will open up in prayer, and then I'll let you do your part today. Okay. So everyone, boys and girls, let's close our eyes in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we approach you today. God, thank you for another day. You kept the children all day long. You have kept them from danger. God, we thank you for your love and for your care. So again, we get together to learn about you to learn about Jesus. And God, we ask that you would be with us as we sing and as we learn. Continue to bless the home, Father John, Mother Mary, Brother Paul, Minister Benson, Pastor Williams, Lenkai and Lanai. Bless everyone. And God, help us to have a good lesson today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Paul. Thank you very much, Pastor. God bless you. Yeah, it's been a good week. We thank God for everything. It's been busy. Uh, we thank God also for that. Right now it's dark and we've, we've been working even in the dark. Oh, wow. With the boys. I should send some pictures of that later. Yeah, so we thank God. He has made us busy. And all is the glory and honor of his holy name. So today we are going to sing songs. We thank God we have Minister Benson here. My father is around also. And my mom too. Okay. They are all here with us. Oh. You, Hi, mom. you can see them. Hi, Dad. <laughs> mom and Dad. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to sing some songs and give the poem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the only one. 
stuff well done boys and girls very lively music and lively singing so good to see you all enjoying enjoying the music enjoying singing and then speaking the poem well done well done keep up the good work okay let's have a lesson everyone can take their seat amen thank you minister benson Thank you, Brother Paul. And I saw Mom and Dad, they were enjoying the music too. Yeah, yeah, another day. Good, better, best. Always striving, trying to do your best. It's so important. It's so very important. And so I want to share a lesson with you today. Let me just bring it up. Yeah, the lesson today I think is a very important one. I want to talk to you about the importance of how you walk. The importance of how you walk. Now, the key scripture verse is coming from Psalms 119, verse 133. Let me read it. It says this. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. So that scripture verse speaks to you and I having steps. We have feet. Our feet carry us where we want to go. And yet, as Christians, we must be careful of how we go where we go. I'll talk about it. So I want to talk about the importance of how you walk. How you walk. Let me share another scripture verse with you. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 6. It says this. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. So again, everyone, we have to be careful how we walk. For example, let me do a demonstration here. Let me show you. 
I have this slipper. See that slipper? Yep. This slipper, I cannot wear it if I am climbing a hill or climbing a mountain. <laughs> I would not wear slippers. I might wear sneakers. Sneakers. Now, I have this sneaker. However, if the weather was really, really cold, I don't want to wear the sneakers. I would wear my boots. See that? Now, here I have my boots. However, I don't want to wear these boots in my bedroom. No, 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 no. I will wear my slipper. What am I saying? That depending on where we are going, I change my shoes. Sometimes they wear the slippers, sometimes sneakers, sometimes boots. It depends. Now, the word of God is what we have to wear all the time. We never have to change how we walk if we walk according to the word of God. There's a scripture verse that says, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And so in this life, you're going to have different challenges. Sometimes you're going to have a situation that makes you upset. And you have to walk according to the word of God, which is the Bible. The Bible has lots and lots and lots of scriptures. For what? To teach you how to walk. Because God knows that you will be challenged in different situations. But his word always will give you the answer. You may want to get angry, but God says, don't be angry. He doesn't want you to sin. He doesn't want you to be so angry that you sin. You may be frustrated. His word says that he's come to bring you peace. As a matter of fact, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And so my lesson to you today is challenging you to use God's word. One more scripture verse. First John chapter two, verse six says this. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. So we constantly have to ask, what would Jesus do? If Jesus was in my situation, how would he walk? That's what we have to ask. No matter the situation, we have to go to the Bible. You do not get to do what you want to do. You must do what God would have you to do. And so boys and girls, today the lesson is I will walk in God's word. I will walk in God's word. I want you to say it. I will walk in God's word. You say it. I will walk in God's word. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to tell you, I have been a Christian since the age of seven. I was seven when I said the sinner's prayer. And God has always walked with me. God never leaves me. He never forsakes me. Sometimes I feel like it, but he never has. And so when you walk in God's word, God will walk with you. And you will walk always pleasing him. And I want you to remember that, okay? So when you're in the yard tomorrow, cleaning, building, whatever you're doing, 
always remember that you do it to please God. You do it so that God will say, wow, done, wow, done. When we please God first, we please everyone else. And so I want you to remember that. Now, who is going to do their best to do what God says to do? Let me see you raise your hand. I will do what God, hey, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Now God sees you. God sees you raising all your hands and God will help you. Amen. Amen. And so I'm going to end it there for today. I will say a prayer at the end. Paul or Minister Benson, anyone, you want to add something or say something? Yeah, thank you very much for the lesson. God bless you. Amen. Thank so you. I'll, I'll give my father a chance to say something. Sure. Then I can hand it over to the rest. Thank you so much, Pastor Maria. I'm so much humble for for your lessons. It has been a very uh, big blessing to us. It's the word of life to, to teach us about to follow uh, the word of God and also to walk according to the word of God. What I also want to say is that uh, uh, your lessons for every Wednesday is a big impact to our children our home, we are so much blessed because you have just sacrificed yourself to make sure that you are available, to make sure that you, you meet with our children uh, through Zooming. And uh, this is a very big uh, respect to to our home, and to our children, and to the word of God. And God bless you and the uh, church of uh, Bermuda, and also your family. Thank you so much for always considering about us, thinking about us, and planning every time about us. This is not in vain. I, I, I believe in that it's not in vain. It has uh, bring us together. As uh, I say this because uh, it is not as usual for us to be gathering together, but since you started, it has bring more people, more different uh, uh, tribes. We are now worshiping together just because you are being available every time. So we we pray also for you and Church at Bermuda. Give our greetings to men's, uh, to church deacons, and also to your family. And uh, I can say only God bless you. And uh, keep that heart of thinking about us. It's not in vain. Many blessings are happening in this home just because you are working hard to make sure that you are spreading the word of God in our hearts. God bless you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can only say um, with all of my heart what a joy it is. You know, what, one of the things I do is I, I just listen to God. And as I'm walking around my home, either today or yesterday, God will place a thought in my heart of what to share with you. And that's what I do. And I'm excited to see so many of you. And this puts me in preparation, God willing, for next November, 11 months. We can start a countdown, 11 months and a bit of God willing when I will be, when we will be in your midst. And so while we are making a difference in your lives, you are making a difference in our lives. So God bless you boys and girls, mom and dad, Paul and Minister Benson. God gets the glory. Amen, God gets all the glory. Amen, Amen. Paul, 
Should I close out now? Has Minister Benson got something to say? No, no, you should not close. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Minister Benson has got something to say. Yes, sir. Okay, Pastor Maria. Hello. I won't. I don't have much to say. I don't have much to say. Just to say thank you for your presence to us. So we thank you very much and God bless you. So thank you. just continue blessing us every Wednesday and God also will bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister. And you are quite right. Um, here's a thought before I pray that you cannot do something for God out of the purity of your heart and God not bless you. And so as we worship together, God is being glorified and he will continue to meet every need. And so boys and girls, I want you to just, I want you to keep on loving God. Keep on doing his word. It's the best thing that you can do. All right, let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. God, thank you. Thank you for this precious time that we've spent together singing and hearing your word. God, order our steps in your word. No other way. We want to walk worthy of your word. And God, we know that when we walk according to your word, our lives are blessed and you get the glory. Mm -hmm. And so another time, God, I ask that you would be with the homes, the tribes represented, and that you'll continue to show how real you are to this present generation so that they may be a blessing to everyone they meet. Thank you for Father John, Mother Mary, Brother Paul, Minister Benson. Thank you for this time of us getting together and blessing the children. Thank you for the little children. Thank you for the teenagers. And God, we continue to glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone says, amen. amen. All right, all right. Next week I have some more music for you. But uh, we'll see you then. Until then, everyone, do your best. Do everything to please God. Be good boys, good girls good teenagers, and be helpful in all that you do, okay? So we'll see you next week, Wednesday, God willing, all right? Bye, boys and girls. Bye. Bye. Love the music. Take care, everyone. God bless you all. Amen. All right. See you next time, Paul. Don't forget to see you, see you. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to send some pictures. We've no much progress for now. But after a bit of progress, I'm going to send some pictures. Right? All right. Thank you, Paul. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.